new story. I don't know any stories. Tell me something about yourself. I love you. Please. When I was eight years old, I heard the voice of God in a shopping mall. Really? What did he say? Please exit the mall. The mall is now closed. <laughs> That's so cute. Do you still believe in God? Of course not. Good. Religious people are creepy. But I sure did them. When you're a kid, it's so easy to believe in all that stuff. God, magic, Saturday morning cartoons, the president. It's like if you don't understand something, it's magic. Then you grow up, and all the magic's gone out of the world. Except for you, of course. Have you ever received treatment for a nervous condition, an emotional problem, or personality disorder? Have you ever had dizziness, or fainting, insomnia, anxiety, panic attacks, a nervous breakdown? Should I tell them, Kitty? No, I don't think so either. He doesn't want me to go to college at all, Kitty. He says I have a condition. He'd yell and tear up this application if he knew what I was up to. Help me, Kitty. Show me what to do. You. Someone lost their ball. A small child, maybe. Can't I leave you alone for one second without you getting into trouble? Well, whoever 
it is, they're probably really sad that they've lost it. I'm gonna go look for them. No, no, no. Stay right here. Don't move an inch. I'm gonna go get the rest of the bags. There's going to be an earthquake today. No, there isn't. Please, don't make a scene. Can I have some ice cream? No! <sighs> Look at my face. I'm happy. You're happy. Take a guess why I'm so happy. I have no idea. Heather finally broke up with me this morning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm not. Like I'm better off without her. <laughs> you were together for four years. You're missing the point here. Heather's gone. I'm free. I could have my pick of any girl on this campus, provided they want me. I'm going to be a man. For the first time in my life, I'm going to be a real man. The next cute girl I see, I'm going to get her. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. I just broke up with my girlfriend. You want to have sex with me? No. Alrighty. My name's Lily. What's yours? Uh, it's Clifford. But the ladies around here call me Prince Charming. A prince, huh? Sure, why not? My daddy called me a princess once. A snow princess. That's so. I used to play in the snow back home and he said I looked just like a princess. Well, well, you won't find much snow here in L.A., but you can be my princess if you like. No snow? Not even in winter? I guess there wouldn't be, would there? California. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I mean, I, I never thought about it before, but... All those children growing up without any snow to play in. Are you all right? Daddy doesn't think so. I think I could be all right if I tried. Yeah, ladies don't really call me Prince Charming. I know. Ah. There's going to be an earthquake today. Is there? Tell you the truth, I'm not really sure why I came to LA. I guess I just found the place that's farthest from where I grew up and went there. Just wanted to get away, just for a while, just for college. I wanted to have my own life. If I stayed at home, I'd be under the thumb of my father for the rest of my life. My father and my mother. I mean, they're good people, but my parents, they don't know my dreams. Am I your dream? I guess. said get away from her. She's not well. What's the matter? Does she have a cold or something? No, she doesn't. She has schizotypal personality disorder. She can't tell the difference between fantasy and reality. Well, yeah, but does she have a cold? <sighs> I don't appreciate you taking advantage of my daughter's mental state. He says he wants to have sex with me. <laughs> so you get out of here before I call the police, you cheap white trash. Ha! Shows what you know. My parents were one quarter Mexican. Lily. <laughs>